We are okay, aren't we? I'm not just saying it. Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I really don't deserve you, Dory. It's not many blokes who'd forgive someone like that. Yeah, well, you've forgiven a lot more. Yeah. But should we make the pub for lunch? I'm not sure I can go all day without seeing you. <laughs> See you later. See you. £2.10 in your own mug. Oh, hey, uh, I just heard from Ryan. Ali's fine. He's going to be discharged today. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, I know. So, uh, he should be home by this afternoon, if you want to see him. Oh, yeah, no, I think, like Ryan said, it's probably best I keep my distance. See you. See you. Thanks, Toya. Good news, isn't it? Oh, it's such a relief. You know, for everyone. Mm. Hey, just coffee and toast when you're ready, please, Roy. I I'll bring them over. Of course, you could just turn up at this bat watching tonight, you know, and let Nina do her stuff. Kind of shame them all into submission. I could, yes. But in my experience, people like that who make judgments purely based on prejudice, they're not willing to change even when presented with indisputable evidence that they're wrong. Sounds a bit defeatist to me. Yesterday, their comments were directed to me. What if they're directed to Nina? I'll not risk it. Is that a badger? Yeah, it is, yes. Ooh. Uh, that was meant for a customer, not, not you. Oh, sauce. Awesome. I'll make another. Ta. Got to keep my energy up for tonight. Got all them bat boxes to put up. Uh, the, the, the group's been cancelled. What? Why? Love is perfect. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I, I know how much you're looking forward to it. Oh, well. I suppose there'll be another. You lied. Strictly speaking, I did not. It is cancelled in my diary. Then you're right, of course. Perhaps I should tell her. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. You're trying to protect her. Oh, don't get all angsty. I do not angst. Merely question. You do so angst. You're an angster. I'm not sure there's any such word. Oh, well, there is now. Boy, Cropper, the angsty gangster. <laughs> oh, look, don't worry about it. It should be fine. I'll take her out for lunch. Here. Yeah. Hiya. Bought you some clothes. Cheers. How are you feeling? A bit rough, but I'm all right. And this list of counselors to call. Mm -hmm. It's good. You going to? Oh, no, because I'm not addicted and clean. <sighs> You're not still trying to deny it, are you? <sighs> it's the truth, OK? Well, just like it was last time. We nearly burnt Maria's flat down. No, because I was using then, OK? I'm not using now, am I? So, what are you saying? That the doctors are wrong, that it wasn't an overdose? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that I didn't take anything. Well, you're not making any sense, mate. <sighs> Look, I was at the pub with you, wasn't I? And I was absolutely fine, OK? Mm -hmm. Then I go to work and boom, this happens. So, what does that tell you, Ryan? Well, I'd have suggested dodgy food if it wasn't for the drugs in your bloodstream. Have I got to spell this out to you seriously? My drink was obviously spiked, Ryan. What? You... You're crazy. Who would do something like that? Gary Windass, that's who. Hey. You're up late. You want me to make you some breakfast? No, thanks. You can't go out on an empty stomach. I don't feel like it. Well, the least I can do is make you a coffee. So, uh, what time are you meeting your manager? Around one. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'll get it. No, it's a. Uh, it's probably just a cold call. You can't just leave it. No, I'll get it. See, I knew it. All right. What's going on? Nothing. Mum, stop being weird and tell me. It's the newspapers. Wanting to interview you. It's the fourth time they've called today. They've no right. Son, I know this is not what you wanted, but it's not the end of the world. 
I know most of your fans support you. It's none of their business. I just want to be left alone. But my back is fine now. But only just fine. You don't want to risk putting out again by going back too early. I promise I'll be really careful. I'm going mad, stuck on my own in this house all the time. I suppose I could take the day off. No, 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 don't do that. It, it won't be fair on Alia. <sighs> yeah, true. Hey, talking of Alia, we've been getting on a lot better recently. I think she's starting to warm to me. Really? Mm. That's great. I think it's partly the two of us being thrust together. You know, with you being off, it's made us have to work together as a team. I see. I think by the end of the week, we'll be like that. Huh. Not that I'm saying that's the reason you shouldn't come in. No, of course not. I, I know that. Still, if it's helping to improve things between you two, maybe I should leave it a bit longer. Only if you think so. Hmm. But then you'd know for sure your back was better. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, you're, you're right. I hate to think of you feeling lonely, though. Hey, maybe we could do lunch, as they say. Oh, that would be lovely. Maybe we could go into town. <laughs> if you want to blow our weekly budget, yes, great idea. I'm sorry, sorry. I'll, I've, I wasn't thinking. That's a good job I'm here to do the thinking for you. Mm. Best we just eat here, eh? Yes. I'm sure you can rustle up something wonderful. Now your back's a bit better. Mm. I'll see you later. Bye. Well, he wasn't even at the pub. I was there, remember? Oh, he must have got some notes of it in mind, because, you know what, the more I think about it, it makes sense, because he's not stupid, is he? Oh, have you heard yourself? You sound like some crazy man trying to blame it all on him, just because you can't bring yourself to admit... No, 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 hang on a minute, right? Hang on. There's nothing here to admit, OK? Look at me, right? I am clean, Ryan. OK. Right, thank you. So you believe me, yeah? I believe that you think you're telling the truth. You are? That the drugs have messed with your head and somehow you've convinced yourself that someone else is the blame. No, 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 no. Not someone, OK? Windass. Yeah, and you're that fixating on him that your brain's grabbed hold of it like some kind of paranoid delusion. All oh, right. Well, thanks for the diagnosis, Dr. Connor. You know, I wish I had your innate wisdom, Ryan, because I wouldn't have had to waste five years at medical school, Mate, would I? I am trying to help. Yeah, well, you're not helping. You're not helping me, OK? Windass tried to kill me, Ryan, and I'm going to prove it to you. Hey, it's my new menus. Had them laminated. Come and see. Well, I'm busy. Someone's got to set the tables. Customised cuisine. Reckon it'll put this place on the map. It's hardly new. And it'll take twice as long to prepare stuff with everyone wanting different things. You really are a glass-half-empty sort of girl, aren't you? Your gran thinks it's a good idea. How is she, anyway? I thought her back would be better by now. It seemed it the other day. Oh, she's still getting the odd twins, poor thing. Anyway, I've had them done now, so I'd appreciate it if you would try and promote them. Fine. Sometimes I wonder why I bother. I go to all this effort, and this is the thanks I get. I don't believe this. Well, We've got another bad review. Or I have. Really? Yes, look. Posted two days ago. The paneer tikka masala wasn't up to much, and the girl running the place was dead sniffy. It's got to be Ray. Oh, not this again. Anyway, that one's by a woman. Yeah, well, it could be a made-up name. Yeah, I suppose so. But I hope it stops soon, because at this rate, we're going to lose business, and then we'll all be in a mess. I expect you know why I'm here. I want to talk about Ali. I heard that he's OK now. Yes, he was very lucky. Could have been a lot worse for him and his patients. I know. I did once suspect he had a drug dependency. In fact, I reported him to the hospital management, but they weren't convinced. I see. I just wondered when you first spotted the signs. Or did Ali confide in you? Neither. So why did you think it was an overdose? Oh, I was just guessing. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I thought it, it sounded like it could be that. For a wild guess, it was amazingly accurate. You even got the drug right. 
I'm sorry. I didn't want to betray his trust. But you betrayed mine. And that of his patience. Like, I didn't know that he was taking it. I mean, I know that he used to, but he, he swore to me that he was off it, and I believed him. Well, clearly, you were wrong. Yeah, well, I realise that now. Look, under the circumstances, I think it best if you leave the surgery, Toya, and practice somewhere else. I am really sorry. So am I. Look, I want those tiles here by the end of the day, otherwise the order's cancelled. Understood? I want a word with you. We have to make it quick, cos I've got to be somewhere. You've been posting bad reviews about Speed Dial online. I'm sorry. More specifically, bad reviews about me. You know, you're wasted in catering. You should start your own fake news business. First you accuse me of trying to get you into bed, and now this. Well, I could always go to the police. They'd be able to trace the IP address. I think they've got more important things to do than deal with your hurt feelings, love. But go ahead, do it. Cos it wasn't me. I think I've got time to waste bad-mouthing some ex-employee. Grow up. Right. Whoa, hey, hey, no, I'm not stupid. The second I'm gone, you'll be off to Gary's hurling accusations. Or worse. Yeah, well, come with me now. Ali, good to see you back on your feet. Thank you. Five minutes in my office. Uh, yeah, I'm just a bit... Shan't keep you long. <clears throat> OK, fine, yeah. You can go now, yeah. Mm -hmm. taking all of these, are you? I'm planning to, yeah. Well, why don't you just rebuy them on Kindle? It would save an awful lot of space. Because I don't have a Kindle. I'll buy you one as a moving-in present. No, thank you very much. I'd rather have the real thing. Look, you're not going all Marie Kondo on me again, are you? I thought we'd agreed to compromise. We have. It's just there isn't that much room in the flat. Well, I've already agreed to leave the dog. Isn't that enough? Oh, come on, Tony. You know, I was as upset as you about that. I didn't realise they don't take pets. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, you're right about the space. I, I suppose I could cull a few. It would help. I don't know, but where to start? I mean, this one. Uncle Albert gave me this. 1977, I think. I'll get it. Not a bad time, is well, it? Well, actually... Audrey! Oh, look. Busy packing. <laughs> Oof. Yes. And we've got quite a lot left to do. Oh. But nothing that can't wait. I'll put the kettle on. Oh. Oh. The hospital has informed me of your blood test results. Look, I know this looks bad. Okay. How long have you been addicted to diazepam? I'm not. OK, I haven't taken any, honestly. All right, I worked it out and my drink must have been spiked. Well, I swear, OK? Just just give me time to prove it to you. I'm afraid that won't be possible. You are suspended with immediate affair. And I have no alternative but to report you to the General Medical Council. Oh, no, don't do this to me, please. Look, I'm a good doctor. It doesn't necessarily mean the end of your career. Yes, there will be an investigation, but with the right help. Oh, God, I don't need help. Well, I'm sorry to hear you think that. Forget this. Can you believe this? I'm mean, suspended. Oh, my God, it was you, wasn't it? You told her. I'm sorry it was for your own good. What, by losing the career that I love? I thought I could trust you. I had to think of your patience. My patience were fine! Well, how can you say that when you collapsed? I mean, you could have made all sorts of mistakes. You could have put someone in real danger. This is not my fault, OK? I'm being set up here. You know, you betrayed my trust, too.
And we've got new menus as well, where you can choose different elements to customise your meal. That sounds a bit complicated. Can't you just choose something from the old menu? Yeah, of course. I'll leave you to decide. Might want to sort out that typo, though. Sorry? On the new menu bit. Can you hear? It's about wrong, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Right. What is up with you? I'm fine. You're not fine. Is it because the back group was cancelled? It wasn't. What? I went online to see if they'd arrange another, but they hadn't, because they're still meeting tonight. Oh. What? You knew? Why? Why did he lie about it? Look, he had his reasons, OK? Yeah. Like he's ashamed to be seen with me. Like he doesn't want me in his precious group. That is not true. Don't worry. I'm used to it. People thinking I'm a weirdo. Roy is not like that, and he thinks the world of you. Oh, look, it was the others. All right, the small-minded little idiots. They didn't want you there. Roy told him to stuff it. He resigned. It's such a shame how things have worked out. Have you heard from Bethany? Well, she sounds cheery enough, but, I mean, you can tell it's all a bit forced. What about your Daniel? No, no, we haven't heard from him. Beth said he's still at the grief retreat, so, uh, well, I'm taking that as a good sign. Well, much as I'd love to sit around chatting all afternoon, I've got to get back to still waters and do some measuring up. Oh, OK. You will carry on with the packing, won't you? Absolutely. Don't worry. Hi. Hello. I don't know, dear Claudia, she always loves to be prepared. I mean, you've got ages yet. Well, no, 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 we haven't. We're actually moving in tomorrow. Oh, I thought it was weeks away. I said it I, but a flat suddenly became available and Claudia grabbed it. Oh, my goodness, Ken, do you know that has knocked me for six? I can't believe you'll be gone so quickly. I know, neither can I. And I'm really going to miss this little one. Oh, no. Can't you take her with you? Oh, apparently not, no. I could hardly choose Eccles over Claudia, could I? Well, I don't know. I'd love to see her face. <laughs> anyway, Amy's pleased that she's staying. And it'd be ashamed to move because she's spent most of her life here. Oh. So have I, come to think of it. And most of the time, wishing you didn't. True. But now I've got my wish. Off to pastures new. <laughs> Not quite the same as travelling the world, but uh, it's a new place, new people. And, and Claudia's really looking forward to it. Now, oh, you met Sammy before? Our press officer? Yeah, hi. I expect you know what this is about. There's um, rumours circulating. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, there's no need to apologise. These things happen. There's no need to be nervous or embarrassed, OK? We're not here to tell you off. We just need to know what you want to do about it. The phone hasn't stopped bringing. The, the press are asking for a statement from you. Oh, man. Don't worry. You don't have to talk to them. We can um, handle it all. Yeah. We've been in touch with our legal team. Legal team? It's standard in cases like this. They can advise you if you do want to make a statement and talk you through what to expect, that kind of thing. This is a nightmare. Look, I know it doesn't seem like it now, but it'll be OK. As long as we tackle it quickly. All right? All right. Good lad. Now, do you want to confirm the rumours or deny? Whatever you decide, you'll have our full backing. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. Really? I don't look so surprised. You're a good cook <laughs> when you put your mind to it. Thank you. Just what I needed after the morning I've had. Why? What's happened? We've had more bad reviews. Oh, no. Afraid so. Mm. This one's about Alia being sour faced. It's terrible. Mm. Well, I have to say. I can see where they're coming from. Oh. Between you and me, I don't think her heart's in it anymore, and the customers are picking up on it. This rate, we're going to lose business. 
Hi. Hi, Gran. How do you spell Paneer, Jeff? What? I mean, literally, how do you spell it? Hiya. I'll remind you, shall I? You spell it like this, which is incorrect. Oh, I see. It's a spelling lesson, is it? Well, I'm very sorry, miss. For what? For making up bad reviews about me and posting them online. What on earth? You... Alia, please don't be silly. Oh, I'm not being. Look, the same word, the same spelling mistake. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Please, I need to know. Okay. All right, you want the truth, fine. You're not gonna like it, but I didn't take anything, all right? Gary drugged me. What? Yeah, he spiked my drink or he got someone else to do it for him. Well, that was me worrying about you. I should have known better. Ali, what are you doing? Let me out. No. No, I'm not gonna let you go back to him, okay? Ali! back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>